Uh, hey, I got a shirt. A uh, new shirt. One of my drawings on it. It's a skull, and around the uh, top of the skull it says, uh, you're still alive, so act like it. I thought it was clever. And I like skulls, so shirt. Uh, check out my store. I'll put a link in the description below. I'll put a link from my Discord description below, and uh, you can find my Patreon. Uh, other than that, let's get into this. It's Clang uh, by Bandmade, which I've, I've heard, but I haven't really, I let myself hear it, but I haven't let myself really get into it. Uh, so I know it's cool, but I don't know exactly how cool it is. Uh, uh, Jamie from Patreon requested this. This is Vladimir's. Uh, Vladimir Chupin's video. So thanks, Vladimir, for making these awesome videos. Uh, pretty jealous you got to see him so much. But let's check this out. Here we go, Clang. I know this has a freaking cool intro. Already having fun. I do find myself sometimes when I'm watching these, I think about something that I think is interesting and I don't say it because I think, well, I want to say something every two minutes. But like uh, right there, what Konami was doing with her octave things, she she does that a lot. It's like one of her kind of staple moves. But she was, it's uh, like right behind the beat or like right behind the change. So watch, watch what she's doing. Instead of changing on the beat, she's going behind it and letting it kind of linger a little bit. <laughs> Get sometimes that it's not Vladimir just sharing these videos. He shot the video. He was there watching this, and I'm I'm a, I'm a bit jealous. Hopefully their tour goes through in the states, guys. I hope so. I mean, outlook is not good because people are too. Never mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop that. I just hope it goes through because I will see him a couple times if I can. I got a lot of people all over the country I want to meet. We can meet up one of these shows. So, uh, God, I want to see him so bad. Like, more than any band I've ever wanted to see. <laughs>
listen to that solo again. And if you're not a guitar player, um, bending notes is a... There's many things that make you a good guitar player. And two of probably the most distinguishing things you can do as a guitar player is bend notes and then put vibrato on notes. The way you bend, the way you have vibrato on notes is a, it's a very, it's, it's like a tell, like who, who you're hearing. Like people can tell Clapton or, or Hendrix or Stevie Ray Vaughan by the way they bend and put vibrato on notes. And, but to bend notes and hit the right pitch, uh, it's not easy. I mean, a lot of guitarists you hear do it because they've been playing a long time. I mean, they're, they're usually famous for a reason, but, um, when you hear a guitar bend and it just goes to that right note, that takes, that's a lot of, that's a lot of fucking practice to do it. And she, this is probably the most I've heard her bend, bend notes to pitch in a solo. I may be wrong, but it's, I'm just paying attention right now, but there's a lot going on. There's a lot of full bends and, and a couple of half bends going in and, uh, it's neat. So pay attention to it, listen to the bends and, uh, when she bends up to pitch. put in okay she uh, <laughs> the chorus holding out chords and then she puts in like the last half of the riff from the intro to the song So I uh, went ahead and found another video. I'll give you a twofer. Moratorium. I've heard Moratorium. Uh, I've reacted to it, I think, on the album thing. I don't know. Either way, uh, I know it's an awesome song. And it's got a, uh, it says, with Konami's solo. This is also from Vladimir Chupin. So thank you, sir, so much for sharing your experiences with us. Someday, maybe I'll get to share mine with everybody. But right here we are. Moratorium with Konami Solo. Live. What's up, Bale? Come on, Bale. Come on. Hi. This is Belle Bell. She's my sweetheart. <laughs> She's like, why aren't you going to bed? It's time to sleep. Thank you. 
Love it, man. She she puts the guitar up and looks back, looks back at her friends or her bandmates, her family, and uh, God, this makes me appreciate this band and what they've they've stuck through to to keep together. I mean, this is before everything went to shit, but uh, <laughs> the plague happens and they're still together. They're still putting out music and they're still doing amazing things. They did the the acoustic Christmas show for us. This band cares more about their fans than any other band I've ever gave a shit about. And uh, just seeing stuff like this with them interacting on stage is just awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> I don't know if there's like a name for that what they do in the chorus here where it's you get a, a vocal you, you, you say the first line then you match it and you take it up a notch da, 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 where you, it's like you just ramp it up i know there's a, a name for that or what but they do it in a few songs and it works every goddamn time what's the other one um oh gian cho they do it in that in that song holy shit uh yeah, I, I kept myself from listening to that song for way too long. I finally listened to it, and it was it's it was like it's like just rocketed to the top of my songs, the bandmate songs. I love that song, absolutely love it. And it's like it's like daydreaming, yeah, Joe, and then everything else. It's got the same kind of uh same kind of chorus. So here we go. Like he loves it so much. kind of cool because the quality of the recording it's not it's not uh like a great it's not studio quality recording it's the mics on the freaking ipad or whatever <laughs> we had but you can hear like how you can hear the bass and how loud it is and the drums and the power of, of everything so it's like listening to it it's not at all like listening to a studio, studio recording or like a uh a professionally mixed live it sounds more live and it even though i got headphones on it sounds like it's coming from speakers ahead of me it's weird but it's really cool. It's neat. It's a, a neat experience. I 
tune. It's like, yeah, this is much fun singing this song. there that oh my god so band made what's so great about him ryan why do you love him so much why don't you ever shut up about him i'll tell you why i'll tell you why because this is a band that will they do everything i want in a band everything everything great just straight up songwriting check uh let's see uh you want to solo every song not necessarily but check tasteful solos how about some good bass in every song check awesome drums check awesome vocals check and it's not just and every, every so often it's every song even if there's a song you don't particularly like outright there's something in it that you're going to look forward to that's how it is with them they do everything they can take they take what is uh Let's see. What do you get on the radio? On the radio, you get like really hooky vocals, right? And that's about it. You get some some bullshit electronic drum beats behind it with some bullshit electronic bass, and that's it. And if the drums do anything other than the standard beat, it's because, you know, somebody probably fucked up in the studio. <laughs> so with Bandmade, what do you get? You get those same quality, quality sung and written hooks in the vocals, but you also get everything backed up with the real and killer band. Yeah. You can get a song that, that is, is light and happy and you can sing along to it because they're smart enough to put in sing along things that are in no language. You can just sing along to it. And behind that, you get a fucking insane drum beat or an insane bass line or an insane guitar part or all three. And it doesn't happen every so often. It happens with damn near every song with them. That's why they're so awesome. That's why people go go stupid over them. That's why I try and tell everybody about them. I can't. It's like, look, if you like this, you're going to love this. <laughs> it's, it's, I think it's like against some rule or something about bands. They shouldn't be able to do everything, but they do it anyway because they're fucking band made. <laughs> I wonder if she knew Psyche was going to do that or if she just did it because out of instinct. Because uh, Psyche held her note and Miki filled in that part. Tearing it up. Awesome. What a great band. What a great band. 
you don't know why, then I can't help you. 